Hi guys. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another planty video. So today is a very sad one for me, I guess. I have kind of to and fro of whether to do this or not, but basically we have my elbow, which Yes, it's looking very sad, which is why I am doing this video. I'm kind of over it. Like, I just kind of want to start over, just completely start over with it. So I am chopping this back into multiple plants. Um, I'm going to be doing different things with different pieces because I've lost leaves. Like, there's just an empty node here. Um from where I got an all white leaf and it just died, much like this one's about to. Um, but this one has actually got a leaf on its way, so I thought it's probably a good time to just, probably gonna chop this one and this top piece and just put it in some sphagnum or something. I'm not 100% sure yet, but yeah, so we're gonna have some, kind of node cuttings and then just some um, normal. Um, some of these nodes are quite close together. Some of them have, most of them have already got roots on, but um, for those of you who have watched my channel, this has been in water. I've had a real struggle with this plant. It just, um, I had it in soil and then it wasn't doing very well so I changed out the soil mix and down potted it and it was doing a bit better then all of a sudden it wasn't doing very well anymore and then I thought I'll try out Lekka because I've heard good things about it and it just it just still didn't do very well so I've just left it in just just plain water now yeah, so I've just left it in plain water now. So some of these, like this aerial root, obviously has been in water. Um, there's one aerial root here, which is going all the way down into all of this. So we have got some really, really promising things. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with it. I'm just gonna cut the pieces. And then from there, I think I will kind of I'll kind of decide what I'm going to do with it. But yes, we will, we'll see. I'm just going to cut these pieces. I've just got a really sharp scalpel. I'm just going to cut them into sections and then I'll be back to discuss what I think we're going to do next. So I've got all of these pieces now and yeah, I, I'm not really sure how this is going to go, but we'll see. Um, I've never propagated this plant before, so I'm not really sure. I assume it's just like a normal monstera, so I'm kind of hopeful. We've got this bottom cutting, which is just a nose cutting, but it's got all of these roots um, and there is a really obvious auxiliary bud here which is where the new plant will grow from so I feel like this would this is going to be a good one I think what I'm going to do is let these callus over um and then I'm gonna um dip each end in some um just normal candle wax like paraffin wax and then this one I am going to leave in like a jar and see if I can get the node to 
sit on the top. I'm really cracking up while editing this because the whole way through this video I'm really concerned and confused. And then hopefully it will push out a new one. I mean I'm hopeful for this because it's got all these roots. Um, and then I'll just pot it up when it starts to push out new growth. I'm actually going to put this straight in water now because I don't want these roots to dry out. And I'll leave this balancing on the top so it can still callus over so I will be back. Okay, so this is obviously the first one. I have kind of like taped the top. I can't really tip it, but I've taped the top um, so it's not gonna fall in. And then once I found a place to kind of put this, I'm literally gonna leave it there and top it all the way up to the top. So all of the roots are submerged and then just leave it. I might even put like, bag over the top of it just to try and keep the humidity up as much as I can but we'll see. So this is the top cutting Um, I was debating whether because we've got this node and then this one node I was debating whether to do another um wet stick here because it's got this big root on it and then this is a separate one but this one doesn't have um, that top node doesn't actually have any like area roots on it and I really want to make sure they've all got area roots on them so they've got like kind of the best the best chance um, that they can have so yeah um, this one I'm gonna let this callus over on the end for a few hours then dip it in wax um, but for now, I'm just going to make sure this end is in water because I don't want it to dry out because if it will dry out too much, it might rot. Um, but yeah, we have got another um, just like node propagation. Um, this has got a lot of roots on it again, so I'm quite hopeful with this. Um, I think I'm going to do the same as I've done with this one where I pop it in water and, and pop, maybe pop it in a bag or something just to make sure the humidity is up in there and then once it shoots out a new leaf I will then be able to pop it up. I'll then be able to pop it up so yeah. And again, I'll let the ends callus over and then I'm just going to dip them in wax just to make sure that they don't rot if they do touch water or anything. Okay, and the final two, we've got this little guy, which I think is my favourite. It's got a little aerial root on there, which is hopeful. And I can see the auxiliary bud. You probably won't be able to see it. Sorry, guys, I'm really far away from you. I don't you know why. I kind of make you go closer. No, okay, that might be a bit better. Um, but right in here, can you see that really white little bit? I don't know if it's focusing, but that's the auxiliary bud on this one. So that's where the new the new leaf will come from. Not sure what to do with this one, whether to just put it in water or to put it in like some stag. Um I'll probably put it in some water just so I can see what's going on. Um, I feel like water is a safe bet. Yes, this is really cute. That leaf is lovely. This is like the first leaf I got with it. Um, when I got it, it had two really big leaves on it. And then this is the next one that it put out. The variation is perfect. And it's just like a teeny tiny one stair out. And then after this leaf, it just kind of all went downhill. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a really nice cutting. So yes, we'll put this in water. And then we have this one. This is one of the leaves that it came with. Um, and I'm surprised this leaf held on for so long. It came with two. One went, but I've had this plant about two years now. And this guy's still hanging on. Obviously, it looks really, really ropey. But... I think as long as it holds on, um, as long as it holds on until I get a new leaf from this, then fine. Um, I can't see the auxiliary bud. I think 
it's right in here somewhere um i don't think that's focusing but it's in there somewhere and it has got this tiny little see that little nub um that's like a tiny little area root so i'm hoping that that will push out some new growth fingers crossed but yeah so we've got another one so all in all i have got I've got five, I've got five propagations, which is really good. Um, I'm actually surprised I've got that many, but I'm hoping they all take, if they don't, it is what it is. I mean, the ones that are, that I would be worried about have got a lot of roots on it anyway, from where I poke the aerial roots into like the water or the soil whichever grow medium i'm growing my plants in i always pop the aerial roots in there so they've got decent roots anyway on them so i'm hoping that is going to work in my favor the only two that don't um are these two but they've got really good root really good leaves on them anyway so and they've already got aerial roots coming so i'm not not that worried about these ones um Okay, so this is where they are. I've put them in this room because it's bright all day and it's upstairs. So it's really, really warm. So they have all been waxed now. This one obviously has a lot of roots and I've kind of just balanced it so this bit isn't even in the water. The auxiliary bud is just under there, which you can see. We've got two in here, that small one, and then the bigger one. Hoping this leaf will just keep on going. I really hope it will. And then this one, again, we've got some really nice long roots. Um, I was thinking I could probably pop this straight up into water, into soil, but from here until about here, um, or here probably, that much of it hasn't ever been in soil and it's the same with this one as well. Um, so I just wanted to give it a chance to um, maybe push out some more like roots further up here. Obviously down here we've got some nice juicy ones. So yeah, I will just leave these here. I've had to tape this one onto the wall um i was because of the way that the aerial roots go in um i can't i don't didn't have a deep enough vessel where i could put the root in and this that had a really wide thing on it but at least that's not going to get really wet and potentially rot so it's kind of just balancing chilling on the top it's quite amusing actually um but yeah fingers crossed they all take and do well again there will be many updates on these guys for you okay so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video it was a very impromptu one i kind of have been thinking for a while i really 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 want to chop it up and start again and i feel so much better now i have now i have now i have and I'm glad I've done it like the start of spring because it just I feel like it would just give them the best chance that they can of you know getting better and growing so yeah thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you've ever chopped up one of your monstera elbows or one of your like precious plants or if you're having the same issue as me like are you just completely over any of your plants like i'm so over this plant now i just it's just too much don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more updates from me on this plant as it grows and propagates and follow my plant to instagram if you want to see more updates from me i post on there um way more often than on youtube so you get loads more updates from me and thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.
Thank you.